Hello, just a quick tip here. Um, say we're working on a scene, maybe you're working on a table, if you have followed the last tutorial, but because I'm editing this table, I want to be using all of these menu sets. But the trouble with that is that then I don't have quick access to render it to see what it's going to look like when it's finally rendered out. So a good tip, sorry, if we change the menu set to rendering, and then click on the render button, and you see it's this thing's gone like a liney blue color. Basically, if we click there, we then get a floating window, which is really handy because say we're working on our scene but we want to have access to all our surfaces tools we're not going to have the option to render whereas now we've got all our surfaces and we've got our option to render the current frame and you can obviously do that for multiple things um, and then have them all and you can especially if you've got two monitors then it's really handy because you can customize your um, you could have all of loads of these floating windows on your separate screen for quick access to stuff. Um, yeah, well, that's the bottom line of the tutorial. Well, it's not really much of a tutorial. It was just a quick tip that I thought I should post because it, I use it a lot and it comes really in handy. Another thing, um, it's not a tip. I just was saying that I should be switching to Mac in within the month. Um, so I'm not going to have my Maya license as such. I, I may install it on um, VMware Fusion, you know, when you like run Windows inside, but I can't guarantee it. So if that's the case, I will be still producing tutorials. Um, for um, I'm going to start doing some for Cinema 4D. If anyone has any old um, licenses for Macs for any software, um, I c might be interested in buying it, so just let me know or if you've got an old Mac, because I'm getting a MacBook Pro, so if you've got a desktop Mac that you want to sell, let me know. Um, also, um, I should be doing tutorials for Final Cut Express, um, Photoshop, Dreamweaver, the whole Adobe suite. I'm going to start doing a series for Encore. I might start it now whilst I'm on the PC. Um, yeah, so this video is also an update for you guys, so whoever it is that watches these tutorials, I have no idea. But thank you. And I'm Dan Allen from Dan Allen Bouncy Castle. Well, youtube.com forward slash Dan Allen Bouncy Castle. Thank you.